So when you're doing your keyword research and you're picking your actual keywords that what you want to use, always think about being natural. So think about what search engines and what results search engines would want to return for their visitors. So when you pick a keyword, make sure that that keyword is relevant to your website. So you don't want to return irrelevant results and it's going to make it very difficult to rank for content that actually isn't relevant to those words. So make sure that you're thinking naturally and the content that you're providing in your website is going to be actually relevant to the keywords that you're selecting. So just over here I've logged into my AdWords account and uh, so this is under tools here. They've got a keyword planner. They've got some options here so we can search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Uh, so this is a really good option here. Uh, we can also list keywords and we can get new keywords. So if we've got a bunch of keywords already, we can list them in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type in WordPress as I've done before and uh, I could also do a landing page, I could pick a product or a category so I can really fine tune the keywords that I'm getting and uh, there's quite a bit to do in keyword research uh, so you're going to be presented with a lot of keywords here, you've got keyword ideas, you've got ad group ideas as well and over here we've got our average monthly searches, we've got the competition on those keywords. So this gives you a good idea of how much they're being searched and how much in demand they are, how many people are trying to target those keywords. Uh, so the higher the suggested bid, that means that more people are targeting those words as well as competition. Uh, so you want to find a really healthy uh, ratio here of the number of searches and the competition that's low. Uh, so something like this WordPress theme and even going into these longer tail keywords. Uh, so this is all going to be relevant content and uh, doing your keyword research uh, you can list out a whole bunch of keywords from here. There's also the Bing tool. Uh, so here we've got the same type of thing where we can do a search uh, for WordPress and we can get uh, Bing's results for search. So when we enter in WordPress here in Bing Webmaster Tools, uh, we see that we've got the number of times it's appeared within search results and we've got a listing of keywords here. So this gives us a better idea as well of the, the words, how many times it's appearing and we've even got a trend here. So we can get a better idea if the word that we're looking at is trending. So something like WordPress admin looks like it's trending. WordPress login is really trending. So a lot of people are looking for that. But then of course our search volume is really low as well. Uh, so we see that a lot of people are typing in blog within their search results. So these are really good indicators and uh, they can really help you in better understanding what keywords you should be using uh, within your website when you're doing your keyword research. So I'm going to provide links to these resources uh, in the resource section of this course as well.